Chapter 6, Mishnah 3. This Mishnah discusses the status of water that is in a container located inside a trough while the water in the trough is being sanctified with paraduma ashes. Similar, mm, someone is sanctifying mechatas in a trough, and an uncovered tefi, a type of bottle with a narrow opening, is submerged in the trough. The tefi had been filled up with unsanctified water from the trough. Before the ashes were added to the trough, when the ashes are added to the trough, the water inside the tefi also becomes sanctified, even though its mouth is extremely narrow and no ashes can enter it. This is because the tefi is connected to the water in the trough, which did mix with the ashes, through the tefi's opening. Therefore, when the trough's water becomes sanctified, the water in the tefi is sanctified as well. In the next case, a sponge was lying in the trough while the water in the trough was being sanctified. If there was a sponge in the trough while the water in the trough was being sanctified, the water absorbed in the sponge is invalid, that is, it is not mechatas. This is because mechatas must be sanctified in the kli, as we learned in chapter 5, Mishnah 5. A sponge is not a kli, and thus the water inside it does not become sanctified. Since the water absorbed in the sponge is not sanctified, if the water in the sponge seeps out into the trow, it will disqualify the water in the trow, which is mechatas. Because if unsanctified water mixes with mechatas, the mechatas is disqualified. The mission discusses how a person can pour the water from the trow into a jar without disqualifying the water in the trow. What should a person do to transfer the mechatas to a jar without it becoming invalidated by water seeping out of the sponge? He should pour the water from the trough a bit at a time until it reaches the sponge. While he pours, he must be careful not to touch the sponge. For if he touches the sponge before the rest of the trough is empty, then no matter how much sanctified water is still in the trough floating above the sponge, all the water in the trough is invalid, since touching the sponge squeezes out some of the invalid water inside it. That water mixes with all of the rest of the water in the trough, and it all becomes invalid.